Now picture this, one of my favorite bands of all time that I just saw the night before walks into my Taco Bell because they're hungry. And then there's me laughing so hard because one of my favorite bands of all time that I saw play a show the night before was walking into my Taco Bell that I had to brace myself against the front counter. And then they saw me dying laughing. And it got awkward fast because I'm guessing they thought that I was laughing at them because then they immediately turned around and left. Now picture that for a sec. Me feeling like crap because I'm laughing so hard that one of my favorite bands just happened to walk into my Taco Bell. And then immediately leave because I think they think that I'm laughing at them instead of, oh my goodness, this is far too awesome for words. Dang it. Just dang it. So I'm thinking, oh, um, 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 it was still busy. There's still people and you know what? I had things that I had to do because I'm a responsible employee and I do my job at work because it's a job and there's work to do. And then I see them go, go back to the hotel that was directly behind my Taco Bell because that's where they had their van park. I'm thinking, oh crap, I goofed it this time. Oh Safa, I kinda messed up. Well that's awkward. So I'm like, so I got another day. what I do? Look at my friend I was working with. I looked directly at my friend I was working with. I said, you're taking that for me. And then I ran, I literally ran man through the back door that we're never supposed to open looked out that back door and as the chariot was finishing getting into the fan i yelled you guys played a great show last night and then stevis one of their guitar players was like thanks where are you going next toronto how far is that from here about an hour Cool, thanks. Have a good drive. So I went back in thinking I just did my duty. I was a grateful fan, helping out one of my favorite bands of all time, The Chariot. And what happens next? I go back to taking orders and working my shift like I'm just normally regularly working a shift with Taco Bell that I'm too tired to work, but I'm so high on life because of what just happened. I can barely contain myself. I was excited. I was stoked. I was so stoked. I overdosed on stoked. But wait. And I figured I was just gonna work a normal shift and have it end and whatever. But then they come back in and I got to take their orders at Taco Bell. Punched it in. And when it got to Dave Kennedy's turn, I realized we had a giant stack of coupons right beside me that we needed to get rid of. So I'm like, here, I know you're trying to do tour math. I get it. I get how that works. Because I want to do similar things for a living eventually. And I get, I get it. I get it. So you want some? Sure. So the rest of them got some. And that was right after I took Stevens's order. And then after the coupons came out, he was like, I hate my life. So Stevens, if you ever see this, I am sorry. Genuinely. And then they hung out in the lobby for a while. I'm like, and no, the story still doesn't even end there.